It's an angel. I'm gonna need a translator. Can you go get Luigi? Good question. So what the candle does is when I do any of your readings, I connect to your energy to make sure I'm doing your reading and not someone else's. That the readings are specific to you and not someone else. I do the same thing with the candle. So the candle becomes like a fake you, which is like a way to kind of trick a spirit guide into showing up because they think they're coming to you. And instead, I'm here. That's how I kind of get them to, to come to me. It's, it's kind of sneaky. Okay. So, um, I have Father Luigi with me. He's a spirit that I work with. He is a Catholic priest. Um, angels, I have a really difficult time talking and seeing angels. Talking to and seeing them. And an angel has come through. So I need some, I need another medium to talk through. I know. Okay, so let's start with, so we have like a whole committee right now. Let's start with, hello and welcome. I'm here for Rose. Well, this, I know. This person. She's actually on the other side of the computer and she's typing so that I could be an in between. Um, what's the presenting gender of the angel? Unknown. Uh, can I look that up? Well, that would be why. Oh, a very important angel. In Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. So, the angel that we're speaking to, their name is Ezekiel. I spelled it wrong. I thought it started with an A, but it starts with an E. And from what I'm looking at, the reason why is because they don't necessarily look human. Okay, so he's here. We'll just use he. 
they. We, we can use they. We can be. We can jump with the times. They're here, and they're cautious with me because of how I'm doing this to make sure that I'm actually talking for with on behalf of you and not being sneaky. But what I'm doing is sneaky. The two of them are talking. Okay, while they're talking... Oh, no, I guess we're ready now. So what is a sign that you give her that you are watching or that you are involved? He says, I've been involved from the start. I've watched over many branches of your family. And I watch over... You cannot leave. Welcome in. I watch over... the spirits who have passed and their interaction with you. Trick or treat, you say? I'll be the Thank you for resubscribing, Mean Toy. And hello, Alby. Allie Berry. I mean, the font could be bigger on my screen. They give signs. In. Things that are orange. like the sun. Also with numbers, but specifically three zeros. These are positive signs. You're on the right track. You're being protected. You're not alone. Your family is watching. Oh, someone anonymously gave to Ming. I miss saw that. Thank you so much, anonymouses. I don't understand. I st still don't understand. Rose, are you there? Because this was super sucky, but I'm talking.
his you're not Christian is that correct trying to understand what they're, what they're talking about. Because he's saying... Belief and interaction with me is not tied to the Bible. I'm going to need you to slow that down just a little bit. I am not beholden or defined by man's book. I am defined by action. Is he, can I just ask for clarification? Is he trying to say that, like, just because Christians wrote it down, he's not Christian? He is a messenger and a protector. That is what he does. Do you come from a Hindi family? Also help clarify what the heck they're talking about. So I'm only hearing one side of this conversation. She wants to know if there are any changes coming. Yes, I am Hindu. I can speak Hindi. There's first trying to clarify that they're not held to someone's religion on whom they can protect. They're just a spirit. Well, not just. That was my words. Yes, changes are coming, but slowly, almost painfully. 
not sudden. Not at this time. There was once a possibility that... Slow down, please. There was once a possibility that... change was going to happen um, abruptly, but it but your path deviated from that outcome. Changes are, are coming, but they're going to be slow. What are we talking about? What kind of changes? Can anyone fill me in? <laughs> Any, anybody? No? No. Okay, fantastic. How about the one that can hear and see everyone is the one that's actually in the dark? Okay, where well, I can't see Ezekiel. He wants you to know that you need to save some money. No, save more money. You're already saving. Save more money. Be a little bit tighter with the purse strings. He says it's not going to stay in a way that's stagnant, no. But change is, change is moving to slow moving. Oh, the thing that they were talking about before. Um, so positive signs are three zeros. Things that are signs that are orange. Warnings come in the form of blood, but only imagery, not actual injury. Imagery, blood, is a, hey, pay attention, low warning, lady, warning, careful, He says you almost died down, like, th almost slipped and fell down some stairs. And he caught you. It was not your time. You were pregnant.
Do you have a child? You have a child. I think I knew that. two kids. Um, I don't know if they're both boys, but you're pregnant with a boy. Like, hapai, like, super, super pregnant. You slipped. He stopped you. They stopped you. Gender neutral. He. Um, Is there anything else you want to know while I have this committee here? You were boy and a girl. It was with your son. They're quiet. Well, Father Luigi's quiet. I go, I'll tell her. Okay. You have uh, some ancestors that peek in on you just to make sure that you're um, good, that you're okay, that you're doing fine. Specifically a woman I don't know what the garment's called, but it's long and there is a piece of fabric that also goes over the shoulder. She's elderly, dark complexion. She has a nose piercing. She is a, a past relative. She, sorry, thank you. Um, she's wearing a sari. It is blue and um, turquoise. It looks like it has stones in it, but she peeks in on you. An old, old woman, someone you're related to. Three generations back. Well, like, she's a third, so it's two generations, or like, three generations, like one, two, three. Or like, she's the third, so it's two, three. Like, is it great-great-grandmother, or, like, are we talking three of them? I just confused them. <laughs> I think I've lost them on that logic. She also comes and looks over your kids. And she has grown to like your husband.
but she loves your kids. Loves your kids. Yeah, so your kids are very looked after. And that you have this angel. Even though you are Hindu. I mean, that makes sense. We have all kinds of different spirits that come through here. And people may not be Greek, but then there's some kind of Greek-like creature that comes through, so... Okay, I'm going to let them all go so I can do another reading. Thank everybody for coming. Thank you all. Please don't leave until the angel's gone. Thank you, thank you. We are good. Bye. You're very welcome. Ooh, it has been a while since I got to talk to some spirits. It's been a while. I like it. I like it. Did you want to stay? I know, it's a mess in here. And it's a disaster. I'm sorry. Do you want me to clear off the chair? I have a chair right here. I'm gonna clear I'm gonna clear off this chair real quick. So that Father Luigi can hang out. Be a little more a little more comfortable. I'm just gonna put these things right here. It's all good. <laughs> Okie dokie, how's that? There we go. Cool. Okay. How many of you that was your first time seeing that happen, that kind of mediumship?